Insulation resistance tests provide an indication of the condition of any insulation used to provide basic protection against electric shock and to prevent short circuits and earth faults. Inadequate insulation resistance can lead to unintended leakage currents, which, over time, can cause further deterioration to both insulation and conductors, which could present a fire risk. Insulation resistance is undertaken before the installation is connected to the electricity supply. However, this does present a bit of a what came first, chicken or the egg situation. To understand why, let's look at the requirements laid down in the regulations. The requirements for insulation resistance testing are detailed in Regulation Group 612.3 of the wiring regulations. The basic requirement, detailed in Regulation 612.3.1, is that insulation resistance shall be measured between live conductors, that's line and neutral, and between live conductors and the protective conductor connected to the earthing arrangement. Now, the problem arises when you consider what the earthing arrangement is. Figure 2.1 of the regs shows us quite clearly. It's basically all of the circuit protective conductors and main and supplementary protective bonding conductors connected to the main earthing terminal and then through the earthing conductor to the means of earthing dependent on the supply system. So in other words, in some situations, especially new builds, the full earthing arrangement won't be in place until the supply has been provided by the electricity distributor. And the reason why the regs require the full earthing arrangement to be in place is that it's only with a connection to the general mass of earth that any faults between live conductors and concealed structural metalwork in contact with earth can be detected. So here's the chicken and egg problem. The insulation resistance test must be undertaken before the supply is connected. Indeed, some electricity distributors will require proof of this before they'll even connect the supply. However, to undertake the test to the requirement of the regs, you need a connection to earth. And we can only get that in some situations with the supply connected first. The common sense solution in this situation is to undertake the insulation resistance test once all of the installation side protective conductors have been installed. Record the test results on a partially completed test certificate and supply this as proof to the electricity distributor if required. Before they connect the supply, Lead the consumer unit locked off so that the installation will remain dead until you can do the full test once the means of earthing is connected.